Hello and welcome. My name's Guido Bernani from ASL Real Estate. And I'm Celestina Ramo from ASL Real Estate. Welcome back to another episode of the Child Care Update. Now today, we've got a great opportunity for all our viewers out there. Um, it is a child care centre for lease. But on top of that, we're going to show you how you can future-proof your child care business. Isn't that right, Sol? Stay tuned. Now today we find ourselves in the southeastern suburbs of Melbourne. Correct. Um, namely in Clarendon Street, Cranbourne. Yep, 135 to 137 Clarendon Street in Cranbourne. And it is on a corner position of the Narry Warren Cranbourne Road and Clarendon Street. So terrific high profile position. Now this particular place here, it's 98 places. Yep. Right? Um, but it's got three and a half, circa three and a half thousand children, zero to five, in that Cranbourne, Cranbourne East catchment, um, which is one thing that I sort of sort of, oh, there's a lot of kids out there. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So uh, this centre is a single level. It does have some services on an upstairs level. Um, the beauty of it as well is on one side of the property, you also have um, this, this rail trail reserve. So one of the playgrounds actually looks out onto this bushy area. You know, you might even be able to utilize it for bush kinder or something like that. That would be interesting, something you need to investigate further, but yeah, it sounds very interesting. Now the fees in the area are that 120 to... One, 120 to one, 130 even. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So 120 to 130 days, so good strong fees, lots of kids out there. Now, we were looking at an interesting stat earlier today, which I found I found quite quite interesting. That a lot of the centres in that Cranbourne, Cranbourne East catchment are 20 to 25 years plus old. Those that are in the, the cr suburb of Cranbourne, uh, actually more than 50% of them, uh, a significant amount, are over 20 years old. Yep, over 20 years old. So they're sort of getting to their tired state. Or need um, some money spent on them. Or make money spent on them. So um, I hear you talking a lot about future-proofing. Now I mentioned at the start of this video, uh, future-proofing of your childcare centre or future-proofing of your business. Explain to us, Celestine, what you mean when you talk about future-proofing. Okay, so I've got a lot of operators that may be operating premises that are getting on in years, you know, 20 plus years, or they might be operating out of a converted premises. And the way to future-proof the business that you've worked hard for is to lease yourself a brand new premises and move your business over into a new centre so that you can be competitive with all of the bright, shiny new centres. Um, and makes sense. A lot, of the, a lot of the parents out there of these three and a half thousand kids there circa, um, of zero to five year olds would want their child to go to the newest Fandangle, best one in the best mm -hmm. one in the area. So if you are in one of those those older centres, um, this is an opportunity to future proof your business. makes makes total sense. Absolutely. Uh, so it's it's a lovely centre, single level. It's a great size, great layout, fantastic high profile position. So this one here, I believe the permit is already approved. So construction would be starting soon. So anyone very looking, soon. Anyone looking would need probably what, 12 odd months before they need to sort of get the keys? Yep, 12 to 18 months, I would say, yep. yep. Now the tenant that's gonna apply for this, now it doesn't need to be just a tenant that's in the area that all just wants to future-proof their business. It could be someone that notices that in that area, there is uh, some centers that are a little bit older and wants to and wants to you know, corner, the, uh, corner that, that mm. Cranbourne, Cranbourne East market. Right. Um, what sort of tenant are we looking for here? Are we looking for an experienced operator? Are we looking for someone that's a, you know, got multiple centres, 20 plus centres, or are we just looking for someone that's, you know, that, that ticks all the boxes? Definitely, Guido. We're looking. We're just looking for a great tenant. So whether you've got one centre or you've got 20 centres, um, all of those different types of operators have got something to offer our landlord here. So we would love to have an application from every type of tenant. Oh, fantastic. fantastic. Now, the lease terms here, um, I believe this is the standard 10 plus 10 plus 10. Correct. Three and a half percent increases per annum. Yep. Right. And reviews, obviously, after the, the 10 year period. Yep. The normal security deposit, etc. So, we've sat here today, we've told you about a great centre in the area of Cranbourne, um, you know, great catchment, three and a half or 3,400 approximately children, zero to five, uh, single level with some services upstairs. 
98 places, location, location, location. You've got that opportunity to future-proof. Um, I think this one here's a goer. Celestine, how do they um, how do they get in contact with you to sort of you know put their uh, put their application in? You can give me a call on 0408 111383 and we can have a chat about how you can be successful in your application for this centre or you can send me an email celestine at aslre.com.au and shoot me across an email, I'll send you across the memorandum and you can have a look at the plans. Fantastic. Well, I wish everybody have a lovely day. Thank you very much for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button as well. It does uh, help with the algorithms. So thank you very much. Thanks, guys. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye. Here at ASL, we manage all types of developments, from childcare centres to medical centres, townhouses to apartment complexes. We have over 40 years' experience in delivering projects on time and to budget.